Hey guys, it's Lady Digger in PA. A beautiful, beautiful day today. It's the 8th of June, 2017, or 18. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm out of here. Metal detecting from the wheelchair. And I'm using a um, AT Pro. She's gardening and metal detecting. Really quiet on the yard here. What's that? Do you ever metal detect in your horse No, I don't think I've really done that, no. In the horse field? You can take it in there and do that, try that. Yeah, it's so quiet. There's like nothing on the ground here. Usually down along the edge. Yep, nothing. Nothing. So what are you planning now? What is it? Oh, the um, potatoes? Oh, flowers, okay. Why is it like I'm trying to get the camera focusing here? There we go. For some reason it was really strange the way I focused it. Did you find the potatoes and the um, strawberries? Yep, they're right there. Okay. I'll put them in next. Yeah, whenever, you know, whenever. When I'm done with but it's going to be time to get them in this, you know, pretty soon because they should have been in maybe a little earlier. The uh, strawberries, that is. Yep, this is my old house here that I live in. Rebuilt in the 30s after it burned down. It was originally. Um, Constructed a part of a farm back in the 1850s. It's on the map. And I always forget the name of the lady that name is on the um, 1850. I'll think of it eventually. I hate that. You, know, you try to remember the name of somebody. And I'm terrible at names. So I got my granddaughter. She'll be, um, yep. Oh, you got the flowers in, huh? The flowers. See, I'm not sure originally if they, down there is the cellar, which collapsed and that's got to be redone. But I don't know originally if the original house this was facing the um, driveway over here, or in the front. There's a sidewalk in the front, a slate, kind of a stone walk. And there used to be a great barber at the end of it, but I don't know for sure. It was an 80 some acre farm, dairy farm.
anyway. Hoping to find something today. You don't know. You have to kind of, you know, just kind of go for it. Especially here, it's been picked over. It's been detected by me and some friends. It's different machines. I think the last thing I found was a um, 1880s um, Canadian large scent. That was kind of like right in this area right up here. Right there. In this area right here. But I guess the Canadians were down here too, so they brought the uh, their currency with them and that's how it ended up here. Just like at a property not too far from here. A uh, friend's house. Well, it was actually her father's property. Um, we found Spanish silver. Right in the front yard. And like, we found other coins, but nothing that old. Now her son apparently had found a, a large scent from the early 1800s. I don't know if it was a matron head, I don't know if it was, you know, which, which particular coin it was. Colonial copper of some sort, I'm not really sure, I never saw the coin. But we did find some interesting things in particular. We did find the, um, the silver. It was a, I don't know if it was a one or two real. My buddy Dave, my um, pig and buddy Dave found it. I'm going to get back to digging. Let's see what we can find. And then I will be back with you guys probably soon. I'm glad to at least be out here in the sunshine and mill detecting a little bit, even though I'm not finding anything per se. You just don't know. Alright guys, I'll be back. Hopefully. <laughs>